Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is my plan for Game Week 23. But before that, let's see how people got in in Game Week 22. And you might be amused to know I didn't do too well. So top scorer in our Midnight Mule Mini League was Joss Alwyn with Kuliu Siriski, I think is what the team's called, with 89 points. So look at that. Treble captain played. We had De Bruyne on 21, Alvarez 13, Luis Diaz 12, Saka 10, Solanke 8, Richarlison 7, Watkins 7, Robinson 6. And no points on the bench. So that was a pretty good score. And top of the league is Ben McCarthy with the boys in red with an impressive 79 points. That was Alvarez 13, Foden 12, Saka 10, Solanke and Diego Jota 8, Richarlison and Watkins 7 and Pickford got 10 as well. And no points on the bench. As for me, I'm all the way down in 216th with 47 points. Captain Foden, 12. Saka, 10. De Bruyne, Watkins, 7. And nobody else got anything apart from Trippier, who I gave the week off and put him on the bench. I th thought he deserved a break. He did well. So 47 points. A game week rank was around the 6 million mark, but I took a hit. So it was actually worse than that in real life. And the hit was to get rid of Solanke, who scored, and bring in Haaland, who got just one point. So possibly I got the timing on that one wrong. So another red arrow, a very big red arrow. I'm just inside the 1 million mark. And I'm 234 points behind top spot. So if I get about 15 points a week more than whoever's top, I'll win the whole thing. 1,216 subscribers. Thank you very much to everyone who watches these videos and subscribes and leaves comments like etc so the fpl game week website there's lots of useful stats on there but something i particularly like is looking at the content creators league to see how they're all doing and what they're doing the fpl fran is currently top he's level with third place i believe on the midnight mule mini league in third place is ben krellin he's very good at predicting when the blank game weeks are and the double game weeks in sixth is the ever popular andy from let's talk fpl just one point in front of harry FPL Harry, he's a he's a good chap. And then I'm all the way down in 69th. And the only good thing to say about that is, well, I'm still above Az. I do like Az. I find him amusing. Maybe it's because he's from Sussex and I'm from Sussex. Or maybe maybe it's because he's doing either even worse than I'm doing. But anyway, I, I quite like listening to him. So transfers. I've actually already made a transfer. I did it yesterday. I finally moved on He Chan to get in Gordon. Now, I do like He Chan, and it's reasonably possible I'm going to try and get him back in a few weeks' time. Uh, but Gordon's fixtures are just too good to not have him. So, the way my team lines up is currently I've got Haaland wearing the old mule hat away to Brentford with his mates De Bruyne and Foden. And then the vice captain I've got on Gordon at home to Luton with his mates Dubravka and Trippier. Also at home is a Stupanan home to Palace, Palmer at home to Wolves. Saka at home to Liverpool and half of those players would I think make good captaincy choices this week but I am currently with Haaland and then away I've got Pedro Porro away to Everton and Watkins away to Sheffield United and a bench of players that I'd really like to be playing but I've used my bench boost already so Sanchez at home to Wolves probably not playing but who knows maybe I'll take a magic pill tonight and feel better Gel Pedra at home to Palace. I'd really like to play him. And if I did, it'd have to be Watkins or Foden that I put on the bench. But I probably won't be brave enough to do that. But I think Gel Pedro might do very well. And then Senesi at home to Forest. I'd really like to play him. I may swap him with Pedro Porro. Probably won't, but there's the possibility. And then look at that. Arsenal defender at home and he's last on my bench. So I think that's quite a good bench. Obviously, next week when I look at the scores, I see they all got one point, but <laughs> what are you going to do? As for the background picture, uh, we've just watched Spider-Man in the Spider-Verse, I think it might have been called. So my youngest daughter, who drew the logo and everything for this channel, she wanted to watch this, so we watched it. And it was all right. I'm not really into these sort of things, but I enjoyed the animations and the artwork, the storyline was maybe a little bit shallow but it was still entertaining nonetheless and there we have it that's what happened in game week 22 and i planned for game week 23 i hope you have a good game week and i hope i do too thanks for watching bye <laughs>